everyone, Lori Whitlock here. I wanted to give you a quick view at all these cute cards that come in my fancy fold card bundle in my SVG shop. All of these designs are also available at the Silhouette Design Store, uh, but I wanted to kind of give you a little bit closer view of each of these cards so you can see how they fold. I'm not going to do a full tutorial on all of them. I've done a full tutorial on both of these cards because they're a little more complicated. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory, especially if I show them to you here on this video so that you can see how they fold. But they're um, some really exciting card bases, uh, interactive and a lot of fun. Um, this first card I'm going to show you is called a Double Gatefold Sentiment Panel Card. Um, so basically this is how it folds and how it looks in 3D. Um, it cuts out a little window here that allows a little pop out for a sentiment on the front of the card. Just a really cute, fun technique. And of course you could put a message in here or any sort of graphics. This is a great card for stamping your own message. And so that kind of lets you see how to fold that. Um, let's move on to this twisted gatefold card. This card's a lot of fun. It's kind of a, a new spin on the gatefold card. Basically there's a little sentiment panel here um, in the middle and I've used a pop dot here and that's a little bit sticky there. So, but basically that's how this card opens up just like that. Just a lot of, a lot of fun and something different. Um, you'll want to put the little panels here on the inside, on all the panels and on the back side, just on these two sections. That way when you close it, you can see that cute star paper peeking through from the back. And then again, you've got a cute little sentiment panel here that you can stamp or write a message on. And just so you're aware, this card fits in an A2 envelope. Um, same with this uh, double gatefold sentiment panel card. Those will both fit in an A2 envelope. And while we're talking about A2 size cards, let's go ahead and talk about the rest of these that will fit in an A2 envelope as well. This is a double tri shutter card. This is how it looks when it's closed. And as you open it up, it reveals all these cool panels that you can embellish and decorate as you want. So you can kind of see how I've attached all the different colors onto those panels and hopefully this will help you see how it folds. Okay, moving on from our double tri shutter card, let's go to our fancy gatefold card. And I really like this card because it's got an interesting cut here that makes a really pretty presentation when you open the card up. So I think this would make a great wedding announcement, um, baby announcement type card. And it would be really cute to add some um, pattern papers to all these different panels. Um, these panels here will also fit these outer panels. So if you want to cut additional panels to cover there, that will work as well. Again, you've got a cute little belly band with a little sentiment panel right here for the front of the card. Okay, we're going to move on to our gatefold easel card. And this card is a, a lot of fun. It's got a little bit of a gusset here on the side to, to account for the extra thickness. So it has just a little bit of extra gap there. But basically the card opens right up and you can stand this up to have a little easel. So this is a great place to put a sentiment or a saying or a graphic. I could see this, you know, stamping here and putting a cute graphic here. This is a fun card base. Basically, this all cuts out in one piece here. So you've got your full card base all in one piece. And then all you do is attach your little extra panel for the stand up piece here, the easel piece, just on this lower half of this piece that bends. So you'll fold on that score line and just attach that and it will stand up and hold against a little panel here that you put in with pop dots. Use some pop dots or something like that to make that stand up to make a little ledge for that to, to stand up against. And that completes our little gatefold easel card. And we have a cute belly band again, giving you a place to stamp a sentiment or a cute little graphic. And this works for so many great occasions. I think you'll enjoy that card. 
the napkin fold card. This is a really cool card. When you pull the belly band off, there's just a lot of cool panels to embellish, decorate, do some pattern paper play on all these panels and just embellish this card for a lot of different occasions. Basically, to fold up this card, you're just going to need to fold on the score lines in both directions. And then you'll go through and you're going to fold all the corners backwards. And you'll fold, you'll probably take this, want to take this, these corners and fold them both directions to get them nice and folding and pliable in both directions. And then just start working with the card until you get those four corners to pull in like that. And again, a great um, place to play with pattern papers and make some cool effects with this cool card. So we'll just place that belly band right back in place and it gives you a little place to put a sentiment. You could almost treat this as like a little mini album if you wanted to by putting photos on all those different panels, different pattern papers, you can really dress it up. Oh, I'm getting hung up here on that panel. Okay, so there's your napkin fold card. And I do full tutorials for these two cards. This is called a crisscross card and it opens up and has this cool crisscross effect throughout the middle. It's kind of an accordion folded um, piece. And this one does come with a little print and cut piece that says happy birthday. But of course you could stamp or replace that graphic with anything that you'd like. And now we have our diagonal fold, let's see, I've got to double check the name on this, diagonal fold pop-up card. Again, this one does come with the sentiment that you can do a print and cut with. And we'll take that belly band off and you have this cool opening card. Just a fun effect. I got a, it's got a lot of wow factor. So I hope you enjoy all these cool fancy fold cards and get creative with them. There's some good card bases so that you can do all sorts of um, new card making techniques and make them for all different occasions. And I hope you have fun working with these and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <music>